In GTA 6, you will be rewarded with cryptocurrency when finishing a mission, as cash is very hard to obtain in the world of GTA 6. That was just one of the brand new leaks dropped by one of the leakers on Twitter a couple of hours ago. However, there are many more leaked features that will be a lot more interesting that we are going to cover today. So, without wasting your time, let's get started. Well, first off, imagine a world beyond the launch of GTA 6, where the concrete jungles expand and additional cities emerge. It's not just Vice City we're talking about. The excitement escalates as we contemplate the prospects of new urban playgrounds, offering fresh opportunities for crime, adventure, and chaos. The map is adaptable and will evolve over time. This will happen both in the story mode version, as the player progresses through the story, and will happen in GTA 6 Online as well. Rockstar Games is going to host in-game live events with the changing map, similar to other games. This will make the online experience much more diverse and immersive, and it will be interesting to see how Rockstar takes usage of this feature. Moreover, brace yourselves for a game-changing approach to firearms. Limited gun carrying capacity will have you making tactical decisions, trading space for firepower. Different sizes of weapons take up slots, leading to exhilarating dilemmas in the heat of the action. And just when you thought you had it all figured out, enter the potential double bag, a lifesaver for increased inventory that comes with its own twist. In this evolving world, store robberies are getting a makeover with a realistic system that'll have you planning, executing, and evading like never before. When aiming at NPCs, you will be able to choose your next action. You can kill or attack the NPC, as well as you can take NPCs as hostages, which will set you and the cops in a negotiable situation where you can potentially leave with money and a getaway vehicle. The adrenaline rush of a heist has never been this tangible, but the real magic lies in the details. Rockstar plans to use modern artificial intelligence technology for GTA 6 through their new and improved Rage Engine. You will be able to speak to any NPC on the street where they will be three-dimensional characters and lives of their own. Improved NPC conversations create a world that feels more alive and immersive. Your interactions with the inhabitants of Vice City will go beyond mere words, drawing you deeper into the web of stories and experiences that await. Going further, let's talk online. Get ready to rub shoulders with a bustling 32-player lobby in GTA Online. The chaos, camaraderie, and mayhem have just multiplied, promising a gaming experience that's as dynamic as it is unforgettable. Equip yourself with 16 confirmed equipment items that promise to enhance your gameplay experience. From gadgets to tools, these items will be your trusty companions as you navigate the challenges of Vice City. GTA 6 won't be making its way to the aging PS4 and Xbox One consoles. It's time to upgrade to the next generation, as the breathtaking world of Vice City demands the power and performance of the latest hardware. And as we look ahead to the release date, Take-Two Interactive's CEO has spoken. Within the most recent earnings call for Take-Two Interactive, Strauss Zelnick has confirmed that 2024 will be their best year to date, generating value upwards of over $2.5 billion. This essentially confirms that GTA 6 is slated to drop between 2024 and 2025. With the promise of unprecedented success on the horizon, it's no wonder the anticipation is reaching fever pitch. Although Take-Two has ensured us that 2024 will be their best year, it is still a potential chance that GTA 6 will be delayed further into 2025 due to the major community backlash over the announcement of the recent Red Dead Redemption remaster, or conversion as they call it, as the remaster is just a simple port from PlayStation 3 onto PlayStation 4 and Nintendo Switch. But let's dive deeper. Imagine experiencing combat from a character's shoulder view. It's a perspective shift that adds a new layer of realism, pushing you to think on your feet and stay sharp in the midst of chaos. Rockstar Games is planning to evolve GTA 6's physics and graphical development and take it to new unreached heights in the gaming world. With the involvement of the newly upgraded Rockstar Advanced Game Engine and the Euphoria Animation Engine, vehicle damage takes on a new significance in GTA 6, with engines smoking and sputtering as they edge closer to the brink of collapse. In GTA 6, it's not just about aesthetics, it's about survival. If you guys don't know, GTA 5 does not have dedicated servers which has led to a lot of issues with hackers and modders, and you would expect Rockstar Games to learn from these mistakes in GTA 6. Well, recent leaks have surfaced at the fact that GTA 6 won't come with dedicated servers for its online mode, a decision that's sure to spark discussions in the gaming community. The map of GTA 6 is reported to be an expansive masterpiece, combining the size of the RDR2 and GTA 5 maps, with iconic locations like Cottonmouth, Carcer City, City, Liberty State, and more on the horizon. It's a playground that promises to grow and evolve over time. And as we wind down this journey, let's pay homage to classic pastimes. Bowling, tennis, cinemas, and golf take on a new life in GTA 6, offering experiences that are more immersive and engaging than ever before. So get ready to tee off, serve up, and strike out as you explore Vice City's leisurely delights. Imagine a GTA where loading times become a thing of the past. Yes, you heard it right. Rockstar is on a mission to supercharge realism, and they're doing it by slashing loading times 
times for interiors. No more waiting when you step into a building. It's seamless immersion all the way. And that's not all. You're about to explore an expansive world where every building is your playground. No more pesky loading screens when you step into a place. It's true freedom, a key feature GTA has been craving. Get ready to embrace Mother Nature in all her glory. GTA 6 is setting its sights on dynamic weather systems that change based on in-game time and location. No more magically consistent weather across the map. Picture this, hurricanes and tornadoes shaking up the city, impacting gameplay, and turning the realism up several notches. It's a bold move that's sure to spark both awe and controversy, but that's what sets GTA 6 apart, its commitment to pushing boundaries. Moreover, in a recent interview, the CEO of Take-Two Interactive disclosed that the release date for GTA 6 is facing a delay, and a significant portion of the story mode's content will be held back for future DLCs. A prime example of this pertains to the scaled-down map of GTA 6. Originally, the game was envisioned to encompass regions of both North and South America, but these expansive plans were trimmed in favor of a fictional iteration of Miami or Vice City, as it's known to fans. It's disheartening that we won't be able to explore the full expanse of the game right from the start. However, there's a silver lining. There's optimism that the withheld content could potentially make its way to players a few months or even years after the official launch. Naturally, this revelation has sparked concerns about the overall caliber of the game and its depth of gameplay. Fans are worried that rushing the development to meet deadlines might compromise the storytelling and overall experience, possibly leading to a scenario akin to the turbulent launch of Cyberpunk 2077. Yet, Rest assured, GTA 6 remains on a trajectory to become a masterpiece upon its release, steering clear of the pitfalls that beset Cyberpunk. Turning our focus, there's speculation that GTA 6 could potentially be locked at 30 frames per second on consoles. Many fans are let down by this, given the contemporary trend of games striving for higher frame rates. Should this hold true, it could impede the fluidity of gameplay, particularly considering the high-paced nature of GTA titles. This choice seems regressive, especially considering that the next-gen consoles are more than capable of achieving 60 frames per second. This decision has ignited debates in the gaming community, prompting discussions about whether the game will truly harness the hardware's potential. According to the most recent earnings call from Take-Two Interactive, GTA 6 will incorporate controversial microtransactions, resembling those seen in GTA 5 Online, if not worse. These reports have ignited concerns about the inclusion of pay-to-win mechanics and their potential impact on the overall gameplay. While Red Dead Redemption 2 steered clear of this path, Take-Two's ambitious revenue objectives for GTA 6 indicate that microtransactions might play a substantial role. Furthermore, whispers in the grapevine suggest a shift towards an online-centric orientation, sparking worries among fans who hold the rich single-player campaigns of past GTA titles in high regard. The potential compromise of a robust single-player experience for the sake of online gameplay has spurred debates about the game's strategic direction. In previous GTA titles such as GTA 4, the driving experience was much more difficult as the player had to face some challenge in order to be a good driver. However, driving was much easier in GTA 5. Rockstar Games is reportedly going to mix the easy driving in GTA 5 and the difficult driving in GTA 4 in order to make the driving experience in GTA 6 both immersive and fun at the same time. In addition, GTA 6 will feature realistic speed limits. Cars in GTA 5 could not go higher than 120 miles per hour, while in GTA 6, this will not be the case. Cars will be able to go way above 200 miles and even go to 300, if not all the way to 400 miles per hour with the fastest of the fastest supercars. This will make the game a lot more realistic, as this is something previous GTA titles have failed to do. This is why I think GTA 6 is already much better than GTA 5. Moreover, in today's gaming landscape, sustaining a game's popularity over time is a formidable challenge. Often, the initial buzz surrounding a game dwindles rapidly. GTA 6, however, is charting a course by releasing content incrementally, which could counteract this trend, maintaining player engagement through the allure of ongoing updates. This approach aims to avert the predicament of players losing interest after completing the story mode, a concern GTA 5 grappled with due to its emphasis on online gameplay. This strategic shift could foster prolonged player engagement. That does mark all the most recent leaks of GTA 6 that popped up in the last few days. However, this is just a drop in the bucket of all the leaks we have. Click here to find out the leaks we received last week, such as bad news for GTA 6 fans, as the graphics will be limited, and much more. Subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with GTA 6.